For Jordan Younger, eating was everything, but not in the way you might think. Veganism became her obsession, sharing her eating adventures on her popular food blog, The Blonde Vegan, earning her nearly half a million followers online. I had created a brand that was built around veganism. She says her vegan diet almost killed her. I started living in a bubble of restriction, entirely vegan, entirely plant-based, entirely gluten-free. So Jordan started eating fish. She still felt trapped and went from the blonde vegan to the balanced blonde, posting photos, blogging, even writing a book to share her new journey one bite at a time. There's been a lot of hatred going on about the title of my book. Cyberbullying is a scary thing. But at least my voice is being heard. I hope that you choose to read it if you haven't read it yet, read it yet. And I titled my book Breaking Vegan because to me it makes perfect sense. It's a cute, catchy title. That's a play on Breaking Bad, one of my favorite shows. Hey guys, it's Emmy here, and today my heart goes out to Balance Blonde. I opened my Instagram this morning, and I scrolled down to find that Vegan Revolution has put up this picture. All she did was have an eating disorder and then blamed veganism for it. A picture portraying someone getting sliced in the throat is way more offensive. Vegan Revolution, you're a shit cut. You're so selfish. Just because somebody doesn't have compassion towards billions of animals and, and compassion for our planet doesn't mean you gotta make a picture. Be so mean, dear. Leave Balance Blonde alone. <laughs> A bit mean, but I won't hit below the belt. It is just a bit of banter. So let the banterthon come in. Hey guys, my name's Jordan. I'm the Balance Blonde. Recently, I've been getting a lot of hate online because they're saying I'm being mean to the animals and I'm disparaging the vegan movement. Oh my god, disparaging is such a big word. Oh my god, well done. I'm really in touch with my spiritual side. Are you? Yeah, it's really spiritual to kill animals. It's like it just depends on who you are as a person because everybody's different. Who are you as a person? I'm really good at posting blogs. Oh, I see how that's a balanced diet now. <laughs> see, you've got your fruit and veg and then you've got your meat as the dog in the corner. So now I've just told millions and millions of people that veganism is bad and that you need to drink cow's titty milk because it's really good for you, but only drink it in a balanced way. <laughs> So you might have heard of a dumb bitch called The Balanced Blonde, aka Jordan Young. She's been in the news lately for promoting a book called Breaking Vegan. And you know what? I would like to make a book titled Breaking a Dumb Bitch's Face. Like, yeah, if you don't eat for an extended period of time, you risk dying. You stupid, ignorant, selfish bitch. It wasn't veganism that nearly killed you. It was stupidity that nearly killed you. But I guess a book titled Breaking Dumb wouldn't sell too many copies. So it looks like stupidity will end up killing you after all, and I'm not gonna have to use this. This has nothing to do with being vegan. Veganism is a way of living which seeks to exclude, as far as is possible and practicable, all forms of exploitation of and cruelty to animals for food, clothing, or any other purpose. It's simply a stance against violence. Restrictive dietary theories like veganism, paleo, and gluten-free. This statement 
like just completely proves that she has zero idea of what veganism is and she doesn't know what she's talking about. There is no one diet that's healthiest under the sun and don't let anyone's research trick you into thinking that. Bro science. Research. So if you want to take the opinion of a young blonde who has an eating disorder over plant-based doctors that are actually curing and reversing our leading causes of death, up to you guys. I think we know who we're going to be listening to. When this someone spoke, I listened. So the balanced blonde, more like I don't give a fuck about animals, blonde <laughs> is going out telling everyone that veganism almost killed her. What a fucking dumb cunt, seriously. That's what's gonna get the media attention and that's how she's gonna make the most money. Because this dumb cunt is all about money, of course. Another person who's all about money, what's new? And she obviously doesn't give a fuck about animals because she's now promoting eating them. And I fucking hate people like that. And more people will be afraid of veganism. That's why we need more people to get on social media to prove them wrong. I was looking at all the life. There were plants and birds and rocks and things. There was sand and hills and rain. The balanced blonde, blonde blog. blog. <laughs> she's back. She's on a ton of uh, newspapers and magazines and even TV. Even writing a book. Ah, so she's promoting a book. That's what this is all about. In addition to vegetables, she now eats more protein, including meat and fish. Of course, the magic protein. I was malnourished, yeah. I was very much restricting myself through the shield of veganism. That's what pisses us off, is people that try it, they, what they think is a vegan diet, and then they fail, and they blame it on the vegan diet. No, blame it on having 800 stinking calories a day. Absolutely. She yeah. a bad person? <laughs> I really think so. Mm, she might be a bad person. <laughs> I think she is. Mm. <laughs> hey, Fruity Cuties. So I went to this girl's Instagram, and she had a picture of a burger, and beneath it, the caption said, oh, craving these proteins lately. And it's like, who are you fooling? You're not eating a burger for your health. Let's just be real. And as a former vegan, she was on a plant-based diet, she must have seen the ethical conflict of male baby chicks being thrown into a blender alive and tortured in that way. So I wonder how she gets around that and feels like it's okay in her everyday life. It's also a kind of yucky because I'm sure she knows it's a hen's period that she's eating and eating another animal's period is like more than a little gross it's perverted and it's gross and it's not even perverted and gross in the good way if you know what I mean literally eating a period from a vagina shithole and it's like what the hell are you doing balanced vegan balanced blonde whatever her name is Jordan um, she just really needs to get real with herself, but I think she's a bit of a flake, so I wouldn't keep my hopes up. And in conclusion, she reminds me of a hooker I killed once while playing GTA 5. <laughs> <laughs> this balanced blonde, formerly vegan, you were never vegan. She's an undercarbed blogger who's got some 200,000 followers on Instagram, which is good because you can find out what the fuck they're eating. She doesn't have a fucking clue about health. You were three pounds away from being clinically anorexic. You look at this Instagram, she's got this apparel company called Truth Virtue Balance Apparel. Truth Virtue Balance Apparel. Is vodka vegan? What do you, there's no balance in getting drunk. There's not balance, man. On your website, you have a whole tab dedicated to fitness. You don't even have any fitness. You get out of gas from doing yoga for chocoholics fucking sessions. Get a fucking bike, mate. Get a fucking bike. Do something real with your life. Try and help people help themselves get healthy and fit and at the same time save the animals, save the planet, save humanity itself. She's one of those undercarb Californians who think vegan is fucking trendy and shit. The title of your book is Stupid Like a Vodka T-Shirt. The title of your book, Breaking Vegan, is asinine as. It's so asinine. You can't break veganism. Impossible, because veganism's indestructible. Cyberbullying. I don't know, man. I'm just telling the truth, bro. Ultimately, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just trying to tell you, like, you're killing animals. Why? 
it's it's a closed case. There's no necessity to eat meat unless you're fucking weird. Unless you're fucking weird. <sighs> Gross. One bite at a time. Hey yo, we can't stop, won't stop, never intend to. They feel the style I want. They call it Jitsu. So the description of the book says that Jordan was eating an extreme plant-based vegan lifestyle and. I will never ever understand how people can call the vegan lifestyle extreme when people are literally paying people to slice open the necks of innocent animals, skin them and then sell their flesh so that people can cook it just to make it freaking edible. Like how is that not extreme versus something that is so natural? I will never understand it. <sighs> I can speak from first-hand experience here because I went through quite a similar situation to Jordan actually um, when I was relapsing into my anorexia. I would intentionally restrict my calories. Of course I suffered extreme health issues because of this. I found people on YouTube who were following a raw vegan diet and you know of course they said you have to eat enough calories. It's been two years and I still eat a 100% raw vegan diet and my health has skyrocketed since I have upped my calories, stopped stressing about food and just focused on my mental and physical health. And this book was actually number one in the Amazon eating disorder help section and I just find this so sad because millions of people, particularly young girls who are the majority of Jordan's audience, struggling from eating disorders. I just think it's so sad how it's being painted in such a bad light and can turn people off it when really it could honestly save their lives. I'm usually the first to come and defend them, but I really have to come to the conclusion that she's kind of a shitty person. Like there's no way around that. She's, she fucking sucks. She, you're, Jordan, you're, you're a shitty person. To title your book, Breaking Vegan, is fucking very misleading to say the least. You had an eating disorder and you're blaming the vegan movement on your mental disorder. You just thought it was a cute, catchy title. You don't have any respect for this movement. A beautiful movement that is striving to save the world. That's what we're doing here. And that's why people are so fucking pissed is because veganism isn't about vegans, okay? Veganism as a movement isn't about me. It's not about us. Vegans are the ones that have actually stepped outside of our immediate little fucking tiny ass circle and bothered and been brave enough to give a shit about the rest of the fucking world, okay? Listen, this is a painstakingly slow moving change that we're trying to inspire in the world, okay? It's very difficult. We're not well received by the majority of the population, okay? It's very difficult and we work at it every single day and we're passionate about it. And you're fucking rude, little, self-centered, spoiled fucking brat. And the way that I look at the young women that are going through turmoil in their lives, the fucking Lindsay Lohans of the world, my heart goes out to them. My heart doesn't fucking go out to you. Veganism is a great buzzword. It's gonna sell you lots of books. Everybody wants to jump on the bag on it. Everybody wants to hear how veganism isn't good because they're too much of a fucking pussy to stop eating fucking hamburgers. Little girls are gonna see that and think that veganism is bad when it's not. It's fucking awesome. It's fucking an awesome movement, breaking veganism. Nah, it's a play on my favorite show, Breaking Bad. Fucking shut up. Change the fucking title. This is a very unkind video. And I have a right to be angry. When someone goes vegan, it means that they've made a profoundly deep connection with sentient beings on the planet. And that's not something that goes away. I still love you. The anger will go away. And we'll always welcome you back. Because we're vegans and we want you on our team. Hey.